Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. Infernal Knights for the TCG new format. The deck got, got quite a huge hit in the TCG, um, you know, with our most recent Boundless September. But um, the deck is definitely able to evolve, get some, you know, suggestions from the OCG as well, some techs. Um, this is the current build. <laughs> it needs more testing, obviously. The, um, there is, uh, I mean, going well over 40 is quite... Uh, just, you, you can justify that, I guess, because you're running so many equips because of the... I, I think one of the newer techs in a TCG being Power Tool Dragon. Um, I mean, DDR is just ridiculous in a deck. A nice extender gets back the tuner, for example. So overall, quite of a nifty card. And the fact that you want to keep it at three in the deck because you need that guaranteed search off of the uh, off of the Power Tool Dragon, right? Um, as for the rest, I believe this deck currently has like two big weaknesses. First of all, as I mentioned before, the huge amount of equips, while at the same time is its strength, right? I mean, Power Tool and uh, most equips are quite good, unless, you know, compared to like years ago, where you're running multiple equips to, you know, like Noble Knights and most of the equips were kind of dead weight to the deck. That's not the case now. So anyway, 44 cards, triple um, gear freed. I believe gear freed is uh, is mandatory at three. I was running at a two, but I mean going second. That the card is there to break boards. And uh, oh yeah, one of the, the at least the other weakness I guess with the deck is that you're running a couple of bricks in the main deck. I'm looking at let's say Coldwing, which is obviously like uh, uh, it, well, it's replacing the Orion, but it's for a good reason. I feel currently that uh, like a Coldwing uh, version of Infernal Knights definitely is the the route to go, the way to go. But obviously that needs more testing. Um, as for the rest, you're running the level 2 tuner, the 6 samurai one, the fire one. Uh, Plague spreader as well, I believe, is needed because of the, the one of Armageddon Knight, obviously, to send to the graveyard. But Plague lets you unbreak your hand, as you will see, uh, you know, I believe in game number 2 or game number 3. Um, the combos here are not new. I mean, they're they're floating around on YouTube and Facebook already. So I, I, think, I don't think that I'm showcasing anything new. Uh, other than maybe like uh, some really small changes in like the main deck, but outside of that, like the main decks uh, are pretty, you know, like pretty, pretty set, I guess, even though it's very early format, like stuff like Armageddon, Night Plague Spreader, Ancient Fairy Dragon are all finding their way to the main deck. Uh, for Infernal One Nights, that is. And you know, there is some small space left in the extra deck. Uh, so that's why, again, Ancient Fairy Dragon is there. Omega as well, it's needed. Sometimes you need to burn a zone, um, as you will see within the next couple of replays because of that. This one was very cool. I mean, uh, opening the duel and you're opening with like the dolphin, which is, I guess, fine. You're, you know, picking a hand trap from your opponent's hand or getting a peek at their hand. Uh, but opening Plague Spreader, opening Coldwing, that's not get great. And that's where the Plague Spreader comes in. Is Let's say if I didn't draw the Plague Spreader here or opened it, uh, I sh um, would have gone for Armageddon Knight here. You know, Armageddon Knight sending Plague Spreader and go from there. Combo from there, I guess. You know, sending back the Coldwing from your hand back to the deck. So thanks to that, thanks to adding in Plague spreader as basically like um uh, well, like a replacement for, you know, like the tuners, Jet Synchron, uh, O-Line, whatever. It, it, it feels like the deck is definitely strong, uh, as, as strong as before. Well, okay, yeah, before you had... Uh, the deck might have been a bit more consistent, but it, it basically pumps out the same boards. So same combo, even though this is not under uh, protection, unless, of course, you're going for Herald. Uh, here in this case, um, you know, the, the Charles was summoned as a level 9 synchro play far the left, uh, on the far left. And uh, Boral Savage being the other, um, you know, other uh, omnigation to the opponents. And this is definitely one of the reasons why I feel that this deck is definitely still a very, very top contender. Is um, Smoke Grenade, for whatever reason, it's giving a peek. Uh, or giving a peek like at your opponent's hand is quite ridiculous, especially going first, right? And there are some combos that let you uh, use Smoke Grenade uh, two, twice during your opening turn using, let's say, uh, the Aurora Dawn to pop it, right? So anyway, going second, and this is one of the reasons why I really like Dark Ruler no more in the main deck. It's that, and as you saw in like, well, it's not really the side deck, but again, like the side deck... Um, 
uh, con uh, contains like a couple of cards you could definitely fit in your main deck cards like Nibiru, Gamma and Driver. Um, the triple tactical talents, yeah, also a card that I'm like, well, I, maybe I should be main decking it, but I'm already playing like 44 cards. And for now, I kind of lean more towards to Dark Ruler no more, but obviously that heavily depends on the format. Um, but seeing that, you know, like stuff like Fiber, Link Cross are still very much alive, going first seems to be you know the, the 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 way to go and ending up with pretty much every like multiple negation board is still quite relevant unless maybe you're playing like dogmatica uh, invoked well, well even those can pump out Megaba and uh, dragoon for example the dark magician fusion or red eyes fusion Anyway, so getting off the, you know, this is the, well, it's not really new again, but if you're able to um, to go for, let me, um, the O-Gear, yeah, the O-Gear, if you're able to go for O-Gear, use this normal summon, or use your normal summon for O-Gear, send um, your, uh, not Masterpiece, but Gear Freed from your deck to the graveyard, and if you have the Renault as well, if you hard drew it, or, you know, were able to search it, because, let's face it, the deck plays, like, multiple reinforcements of the army, you're able to put up uh, the Gear Freed as your fourth summon, Basically respecting your opponents like Hand Trap, Nibiru, Blossom, just to name a few, Valor as well. Uh, here in this case the Nibiru was there, but I mean, stuff like Gear Freed, going second is just a beast. It, it, it has the ability to plow through your opponent's uh, big fields, and if you have stuff like Dark Rule no more, or um, Red Reboot, you can pump out, uh, you, uh, you, well, it, it makes your attack quite safe, and uh, yeah, Gear Freed just helps with that. This is also a cool one, but again, it's like a very known combo sequence, I guess, is... Um, uh, now I don't think I was able to pump out, like, the, the gear fleet on my 4th summon. But yeah, the gear fleet was summoned on my 5th summon. If, if there was a Nibiru, it definitely would have been activated now. I guess. Uh, so again, Nibiru is dropped, but you can definitely recover from that with any form of tuner, and that tuner will turn itself with uh, the, you know, like the Nibiru token into Helgi Fibrex. And very similar to most other decks relying on Link Cross Helgi Fibrex. Helgi Fibrex is your combo. It starts off your full field, your multiple negations, your small grenade during the end phase. Yeah, whatever. I mean, they keep Link Cross uh, in the game, they keep Helgi Fibrex in the game, instead of, you know, they ban the Jet Synchron um, O-Line, okay, that's cool, but, I mean, March is still there, you can just pump out the same things, just like uh, last format. So Charles hits the field for, you know, the small grenade through in the end phase, plus the surge here, because of the, the level 5 because of Roland, um, and of course Boral Savage for the negation, Nibiru is still on the field, that's cool, um, but yeah, I don't think it's a threat, right, I mean, I, I, I believe we were able to look at your opponent's hand, yeah, okay, so we know that there is like only one normal summon available, which is obviously going to be destroyed, I think, yeah, because of the Charles interruption, so the Boral Savage negation I believe was still alive, but um, so yeah, obviously Nibiru can only attack once, and only I'm going to lose one of my two, either Aurorodon or the uh, Runo, and I believe, yeah, indeed, the Aurorodon got destroyed, that's cool. Um, so yeah, now I see again, you have multiple equips in your deck, multiple extenders at the same time, and that's what I like about this Living Fossil, the one-off, is also an extender, a very powerful extender, and, you know, also an equip to send to the graveyard, right? Again, going second uh, against Edemancipator and Impermanence, definitely a 3-off stable because of this. Uh, Edemancipator is still very strong, um, tier 1, tier 1.5, and the fact that you're always playing against Edemancipator that's able to pump out or reveal like the um, uh, the Quackimero Guardian off of the first five, right? Uh, impermanence is just far too strong. So now I have to play around with the potential Dragoon here, force out the negation, I guess. Um, and the effect is forced out, I guess, on the, the Gear Freak summon, I think, yeah. Um, I guess it's cool, I mean... I, I, I was kind of expecting like a hand trap here, but no hand trap, so that makes things much easier. So now the, I have two ways to get rid of the Dragoon, oh, of the Dragoon, and that's uh, Access Code Talker uh, or Gear Freed. And obviously, Gear Freed is already in the graveyard, and that's where uh, stuff like Ancient, uh, not Ancient Fairy Dragon, Power Tool Dragon, um, <laughs> both are level seven, but both are ridiculous. Um, but Power Tool Dragon searches like the DDR or the Living Fossil because I think I already have the DDR in the graveyard because. I already had Renault in hand, again Renault can just get back the DDR, and I believe I revealed double DDR and little Fossil here, and Fossil was at random picked, um, that's cool as well. 
fossil, both fossil and TD are equal a tuner. That's the most important thing. Uh, there it is. So special summon a level two tuner. Uh, if, if, it, if it was like a DDR, you could just use Phoenix Blade to banish the tuner and you know use DDR to special summon the tuner. Go for the Charles and go from there. So banish the um, you know like the Gear Freak reborn it with my <laughs> Omni Omni reborn being DDR and uh, yeah this indeed is easily GG. So Inferno Monite is, is still a very strong deck. Its biggest weakness is, I guess is is the same time its strength. The multiple Whips, but uh, it's for a good cause. Multiple extenders and ancient fairy dragon definitely has a place in this deck. The main deck definitely needs work. I mean, Nibiru, Gamma, um, yeah, triple tactical talents are definitely all cards that I want to fit in, but there's just no space. So feel free to leave opinions. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave him signing out. Peace.